MailChimp offers free file hosting so that you can add a file to a campaign email and share with your contacts. Now MailChimp uses this system over the more traditional email attachments because the email attachments can slow or even stop bulk email delivery. And in some cases with security software in place will immediately stop your email even from coming in. So let me show you how it all works. So we go to our dashboard and we're gonna go over to all campaigns cause I've got one already started. We'll click on untitled here. We're not interested in the who's going to, who it's from, but we're gonna edit the content here so we can add a file to share to our contacts. So we'll click on edit. And as you see here, I've already got something started here. Let's get rid of this. Oh, and by the way, this is the new version of the MailChimp builder. If you'd like me to do a video separately on the old or classic builder, I can do that too, but they're virtually the same. So I have a button here and we'll add in text that says download now, something like that. We can change the text, the background, all that good stuff. Not important for this video. We'll scroll up to the top here. And this is where we add in our file. Add a file to your email from where it says link to, click on file. Now you have two choices. You can upload from your current device or you can select a file. Pay attention to files supported up to 10 megabytes. So if you have a gigantic PDF that's many megabytes big, You'll try to upload it and I'll say, uh-uh, unsupported. So you have to make sure they're less than 10 megabytes. So keep that in mind when you're uploading a file for PDFs anyway. And in general, images should be less than a megabyte. Let's click on select a file. So this is where all your files go, your content studio. And you can see here the numerous things that I've uploaded along the way. I'll select this PDF and you're probably asking, well, how do I know what PDF am I selecting? I'm asking myself that same question. Well, you can switch to, instead of grid view, you can switch to list view and it will tell you exactly what it is and how big it is, okay? So that's how you figure out what's what. So I'll select that, we'll click on insert. So that now file is attached to that download button. So as I send this email out, people will click on download now, they'll get that file, it will open up in the browser where they can then download that PDF. Make sense? Now it doesn't just have to be a button. You could use this image, for instance, to have a link to a file. So we change that to a file and we do the same thing over. We go to select file, we select our PDF and click insert. Not only can you do it with buttons and images and you can also do it with text. So if I highlight any part of this text, I go over to link up here at the top click that and then we have file again the other way that you can add a file i'm saying that in quotes here add a file is to link it to a web address so let's say you want to use something outside of the content studio you want to use dropbox google drive even your own website to host files you can do that too instead of people going to mailchimp to download something they go to that other specified web address make sense if you have any questions on content studio how to upload files file sizes anything like that post them in the comments below thanks for watching take care and i'll see you in the next video